Well, I know that taking care of anyone can be very isolating and lonely at times. And yeah. What would you suggest to others and what did you do for support <clears throat> and to just be able to, to get away from it just a little bit, just for a moment, what would you suggest? I mean, caregiving does really require, require a lot. Um, it's important to still take care of yourself mm -hmm. in the process because it, it, it emotionally it's very, it can be very taxing and even physically sometimes. I mean, he was six foot and he was a big man and, you know. Um, yeah, you're doing full care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I, I think we didn't have a lot of support, my mom and I, you know. Um, we had each other and we had God mm -hmm. and God was definitely had his arms around our family. Absolutely. I mean, that was really evident. Mm -hmm. We could feel it and that gave us strength, you know. I, I believe that with my whole heart. Um, but I think to reach out is helpful and not everybody's gonna understand. Not everybody wants to hear about it. I had a friend say, you know, like she and other people didn't want to hear about it because they didn't want to deal with their own mortality, which was yeah. really hard, you know, I mean, um, but find people that you can share with is really important because it, it's, a, it's, it's a lot to hold on mm -hmm. to. I know in my case with my dad, he would do things um, that a little boy would do. And it's like if he was like my, really was my child, people would want to hear about the new thing he did that day. You know, somebody walks, oh, he said this thing, oh, this was so funny what he did. Mm -hmm. But because it was my dad and it's dementia related, people didn't want to hear that. And, and it was very isolating. There was, um, my world and my mom's world was pretty much wrapped up in it, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Right. I wouldn't, if he was here, I'd still be caring for him. It's like, what, it's what love does. Yeah. It's just what love does. Well, from, from the love and from the caring that you, you gave your father and the bond that you had and with your mother, that also brought you to inspiration because I know that you are an artist, mm -hmm. you are an actor and you are a poet mm -hmm. and and Dana does read at open mic nights here in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, so hopefully you can share with us those, those different open <coughs> mic nights that you're, that you're a part of, but I would love if you would share one of your, your poems with us today. Sure, okay, sure. Um, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, writing poems and journaling through this process was actually something that helped me deal mm -hmm. with my emotions and Good. deal with, with it all. Um, so that I would recommend writing or some artistic outlet mm -hmm. because there's so many emotions involved in caring That's for someone mean. you love and watching that. Um, <clears throat> this poem is called Broken Puzzle. It's okay, Daddy, I'm here. In the understanding of a little boy, his innocence and sense of wonder draw me in. I reach for his hand to feel his reality. With distance in his gaze, he looks at me, through me, tries to focus from his foreign world. I lean into this language in search of passwords to unlock the confusion. He is a heart still able to feel love a soul still able to know love, a body still able to experience love's embrace, in the warmth of a hug, in the holding of hands, in the attentiveness of loyal care, and the daily presence of routine. He is a little boy in my father's body. Daddy is a deep story stuck in the shallows of Alzheimer's ambiance, in the air of asphyxiation, where cells are deprived of life. A stealthy, cruel deterioration, a drought unquenchable, unable to receive nourishment, disabling connection. His lips draw together attempts to form sentences, tries to shape words, letters into an utterance of sense, 
Gibberish is all his effort yields. Then silence follows frustration. My stoic father has become a broken puzzle, an uncompleted portrait. His comprehension is inconclusive. Empty spaces perforate brain. Holes in template create a tapestry in unravel. A story of 85 years is falling apart at the seams. It's binding, losing structure. Pages unbound, lost to the wind. Words as haphazard birds take leave, carried into unreachable oblivion. Measure by measure, he is a story in reverse, with an unwritten forward, as his memory fades into yesterday, and today lessens its grip. You are safe, Daddy. I'm here. Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And where can we find you? Where can we find you online, on Facebook, on Twitter? I'm I'm just on Facebook at this point. I'm sort Mm -hmm. of technically challenged. I need to kind of go (laughs) into the modern technology because I'm, but I'm on Facebook is basically the only place. Dana Leslie Hodges. So check it out. Dana Leslie Hodges on Facebook. (laughs) And we thank her so much. And make sure that no matter what you're going through, love is the answer to everything. Thank you, Dana. I look forward to next time. Me too. Thank you so much.